the, at the press conference the other day, Tyson Fury was uncharacteristically quiet. I mean, he's been on this show a million times. You can't shut him up. Deontay Wilder really kind of dominated that psychologically. Did that mean anything to you as they prepare to go into the ring Saturday night? You know, this is going to sound like a funny answer, but it means something if it means something. And what I mean by that, and you guys probably understand in the sports world, if there's something going on, then, yeah, it, it does mean something. And I think there's something going on. I'm going to tell you a quick story about years ago, Rocky Marciano, the only undefeated heavyweight ever, mm -hmm. fought Jersey Joe Walcott, a great fighter, really a great fighter, great puncher. And he fought him for the title. It was the 13th round back in the days when it was 15-round fights. And Walcott's winning. He can't lose except by knockout. He's way ahead on the scorecards. He gets knocked out in the 13th round. Way ahead, he gets knocked out in the 13th round. He loses. Now there's the rematch. Rematch is over here, too. Right? There's the rematch. And he told a good friend of mine, Don Shargan, who was a great promoter. He's not with us anymore. God bless him. And he told him what happened. Because in the rematch, he got knocked out in one round. And everyone thought going into that fight that it was the Jersey Joe would probably win. He was winning easy, and he got caught. Right. You know, and he would, he would be able to correct that mistake, and he'd win easy. And he got knocked out in one round. So Don asked him, he said, what Jersey, what happened? And he said, you know what? I did everything I could, everything, everything, and I still got caught. Mm -hmm. I did everything. I was winning, but I still got caught. I went into the fight thinking I couldn't win. I'm telling you, everybody here thinks that Fury won the last fight, but in his mind, he didn't win. First of all, he didn't get the title. Second of all, he got dropped twice. He fought as good a fight as you can fight, right. spiritually, emotionally, overcoming everything he was coming from, right. technically. Every way got off the floor. He did everything. He still got caught. Yeah. So psychologically, that speaks, what you just brought up is yeah. a good thing because that speaks to what I'm talking about. Psychologically, I think Fury is going into this fight saying, I did everything and I still got caught. Yeah. What, how am I going to not get caught again? That's a great story because my question is, because he got caught the first time, if you were training Fury this time, from a technical standpoint, how do you get him to avoid that right hand the second time in a rematch? First of all, you can't, you know, he's talking about coming after him. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that's just talk or if he's heavy, and that's, that's kamikaze. Okay. Because if he's really doing that, you know, then he just wants to get it over with. Right. Maybe he gets lucky, mm -hmm. but he just, it's not the right way to go. The right way to go is to box, okay. like he was doing. Yeah. And the thing... The thing with the punch is, yeah, he's got the power. There's no doubt about it. Wilder might be the hardest punch ever in the history of the heavyweight division. That's, wow. that's what kind of punch he is. Okay. For one hand. Right. For one hand. But he, like all punches, he needs to be set to punch. Mm -hmm. So you give him angles. You don't, you don't and, he, and it's kind of like you guys were talking uh, different things like basketball before there's a, there's a shot clock. There's got to be a shot clock in your head. You don't stand in front of him two seconds. Right. Because that's what he, bang! Right. He got, so, so you're off to the side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, my yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. or, 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 we, we all, we all jumped know, on that yeah. one. Yeah. Off to the side. Yeah. Off to the side. Don't stand right in front for that two-second clock. Have that clock in your head. Okay. That's, that's the key because he needs to be set to punch. And one other thing, one other key. Don't let Stephen A. hit those pits. <laughs> I, I love, I love, I love Stephen A. Okay. We are going to be, oh, we're going to keep Teddy. He's coming back in the next hour. And we're going to have Stephen A. with you live from Vegas. Oh, wow. That's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.